Hi friends, welcome back. Today we will see the slicer option in Excel. Like, are you bored using filter in Excel? Then you can use slicer. We will see the demo part now. So now we this is a demo data which relates to purchase order. This is the norm of filters. We are coming here and we apply the filters and we start filtering which are the data we wanted based on that, right? Instead of that, we can use slicer. So before that, what I'll do first, I'll create a copy of this. To create a copy of the same sheet, just click move or copy then move to end and create a copy so this will create one more replica of that to show you demo now this is a normal format there is no design tab here and right so this right now this table will convert to table format for that shortcut is Control t so now we have clicked my table as it i'm clicking and click ok once we click ok so we are going to see the design tab here so just click ok now now you are able to see the data in table format and we got a design option so in this we can change this data into different formats and different colors as per our requirement then we will go to the design section now you can see the option insert slicer so now we click on that so what are the columns we want click on that purchase order id purchase order detail id due date then product id line total if not required we can remove it so this you can check it which are the columns you wanted to filter then click ok now you can see that got created new screens so just drag and drop wherever required and align as per your requirement now you can see the magic of that i am not touching the filter here i'm just clicking the option purchase order i'm just clicking one now the filter is enabled next if you want to clear just click here it will get clear now you want to see purchase order click just now you can select just clear if you want date you can select it so the data is filtered based on date now in this date you want multiple dates just press ctrl and select other dates so the data will be visible based on the filters if you want to clear just click here so if you want to select only one just click one so filter is available if you want multiple after click first one then press ctrl and select the required one in that case you can see multiple data is done so without touching the table so the filters are applied by using the option slicer right so then you can have option if you want to remove some fields you can click on that then there is an option called slicer setting once you click on that slicer there are few sections are there like ascending order a to z descending order hide items with no data these are the things you can start exploring if you want the name to be changed display header so product id instead of that i am going to change it product id number just click ok now you can see the changes in the headers right so this way you can start using slicers and options are there you can change the color combinations based on your requirement so just i go and explore this right so this way you can use slicer instead of normal filters so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support please like and share to your friends thank you